Hello, here's another update on my Dreamcast controller to USB project that I've been working on. Uh, it's been about, it's been over four months since my last update, and I'm sorry for that, but I haven't been able to find as much free time as, as of recently. But I have been developing things when, when I can find the time to do such things. Um, mainly, I wanted to go back into the code and into the Dreamcast stack that I had created, the Maple Bus stack. Um, and make things a little bit more scalable. So the way that I approach software, the way that a lot of people approach software is to develop as fast as possible, get things, something working that you can demonstrate, and then go back and make sure that what you have is scalable. That's exactly what I did. Um, now there is a uh, prioritized communication scheme to make sure that the main peripheral always has priority over the bus, and then all of the sub peripherals then, then get a secondary priority to, to that. And the end result is that um, the sampling of the controller buttons will always happen on a 16 millisecond cadence. Um, moving on to something that I can demonstrate a little bit more easily, I, I implemented the jump pack into the Dreamcast stack. So that at the moment, when you insert it, it will vibrate a little bit. That's as much as I, I have so far. I started going into the USB stack and haven't been able to find any good um, examples of hooking that into the tiny USB library. So I, I ran into a little bit of trouble. It started to become more like work than fun. So I decided to shelve it for now. But what I can demonstrate with the 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 jump pack is uh, I can send some debug messages to it and have it vibrate. Uh, the jump pack has a few parameters that I can mess with. Uh, I can give it a power between one and seven, so that's how intense I want that vibration to be. Uh, I can give it an inclination, so I can increase power over time, or I can decrease power over time, or I can just keep it constant. And then there's also a pulsation frequency between four and thirty hertz, so that's the um, it varies the the uh, the intensity over time very uh, quickly up and down. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to say start at power one, uh, increase intensity to power seven, and have it pulsate at four hertz, and do that over five seconds. So here we go. Oops. Okay. Now here we go. So you should have been able to pick that up on the microphone. Um, that's as far as I've got. I will continue to develop the USB stack so that this will actually work eventually over USB. Um, moving on to another feature that I recently developed that's a little bit more exciting to present here. Now I'm showing the file system on my computer because if you insert a memory unit into any of the controllers, you a uh, drive will pop up on your PC. If you open that up, it will give you the uh, files for each memory unit that's inserted into any of the controllers. They're labeled zero, VMU 0 through 3 for controllers 1 through 4, and if you have one inserted into the secondary slot, it will have a dash 1 next to it. So here I have one inserted into player 1 and two inserted into player 2. Uh, right now the file system is only read-only. Read uh, I plan on making some write features available for it, but this is all I have for now. And if I just drag and drop the file locally, you'll see the icon on the VMU start blinking because it's accessing the memory there. And it copies it locally. Uh, I can then use this file on an emulator and just like an emulator like Redream, just import that into Redream and go ahead and play pick up where you left off years ago. That's all I have for now. Uh, of course I'm going to continue to develop this. Uh, there, I need to update the, the uh, USB stack for the, the vibration. I also need to implement the screen over the USB stack. Um, I wanted to look into the microphone a little bit, the microphone per sub peripheral. 
and I have a um, fishing rod. I have I, I ordered one. It's broken. I ordered it broken because I knew I could fix it. The sensors in it are not so great, um, and the reel is broken off. So just going to take some time to fix that up before I demo demo that. But it does seem to be working ish <laughs> for what I have in in its broken state. Um, uh, yeah, and I will continue updating over video and over GitHub. That's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for watching.